Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's my pleasure to rise this afternoon and speak at third reading to Bill 9. And it took us a while to get here. To reiterate my complete and unfettered support for this bill and to remind everyone why the autonomy of women to make decisions about their own bodies needs reinforcing with this legislation. Abortion affects women disproportionately. Abortion is an important element of women's rights because women are more affected by the abortion debate than men, both individually and as a gender. Pregnancy has an enormous effect on the woman involved. As Sarah Weddington put it in the US Supreme Court case in 1973, Roe versus Wade, a pregnancy to a woman is perhaps one of the most determinative aspects of her life. It disrupts her body. It disrupts her education. It disrupts her employment, and it often disrupts her entire family life. And we feel that because of the impact on the woman, this is a matter which is, which is of such fundamental and basic concern to the woman involved that she should be allowed to make the choice as to whether to continue or to terminate her pregnancy. I'd also like to add the perspective of philosopher Judith Jarvis Thomas. A great deal turns for women on whether abortion is or is not available. If abortion rights are denied, then a constraint is imposed on women's freedom to act in a way that is of great importance to them, both for its own sake and for the sake of their achievement of equality. And if the constraint is imposed on the ground that the fetus has a right to life from the moment of conception, then it is imposed on a ground that is neither reason nor the rest of morality requires women to accept. No one has the right to interfere with a woman's autonomy in seeking legal pregnancy care. Women's right to health care must not be interfered with because equality is too important to compromise. Subject, subjecting women to harassment on the way to see a doctor is wrong. Even in the, area, in, in the area of home to vote, women's autonomy is still under threat. Today's headlines include Arkansas banning abortion medication. I feel a deep sense of gratitude to every member who has participated in the debate at every step along the way. As a woman, as a woman who at one time needed an abortion, and as a woman with a daughter, I am indebted to you. Thank you for making your thoughts known, for speaking up about an issue that is important. I'm deeply disappointed that many members have continually absolved themselves of the responsibility in this debate. We are very fortunate to represent the people of Alberta in this chamber, to participate in democracy in a way that so many people throughout the world do not enjoy. That honor should always be taken seriously. Because I am a feminist and because I passionately believe in equality, I am proud to stand in support of Bill 9.